I just finished talking to this man, which, you know, he annoyed me. But I did see that there are potential clues around here, so let me see. This frequency detected. This bottle, recently discarded, contains residue from foreign substances. Chemical analysis complete. This unit has detected the following substances. Oil. Uh -huh. terroir, blood. Wow. Terroir, unidentifiable biological fluids. Ew. Terroir. You know anything about Pirouet Brology, Nyoka? A lot of folk use their blood for seasoning on account of its sweetness. Don't try and use its innards, though. Only thing that can digest taro meat is a raptodon. Were these substances added later? Yes, Inspector. Logical analysis indicates these substances were not present in the bottle's original contents. What else was in the bottle? This bottle contained Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. The presence of Terroray biological fluids may have significantly improved its flavor. These substances cause extreme gastrointestinal distress in humans. Large doses can be fatal. Let's move on. Okay, so this was the bottle that the guy was unfortunately poisoned. Let me see if there's any other clues here that I can look through. Okay, this is just a script. I really don't care. And there is nothing else for me to... look through. So, I guess I'll just head on out. Chief. Ant War. Okay. All right, so let me take a look at my journal real quickly here. Okay, so Spencer claimed that someone had poisoned his meal right around the time of Helen's murder. He said he'd had frequent arguments about his meal preparation with Chief Anwar, the Grand Colonial's premier chef. It's possible that the chef is involved in Helen's poisoning. Okay, so that's where we're heading. What floor would you like to visit? Oh, uh, the lobby, please. To the lobby we go. Okay, so where would I go to talk to the... Oh, perfect. So he is around here somewhere. Huh. You know, this is pretty interesting. The chef, his workstation is around where Helen died. Hmm. How peculiar, indeed. And it seems like there's some discrepancies going on, too. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Yeah, I can see it. I can smell it. Analysis of this stovetop reveals an alarming degree of grease buildup. Approximating proximity to volatile gases and chemicals. Chances of an explosive combustion upon next use currently at 92.9%. Uh, this seems like a workplace hazard. How hasn't Slug caught this? Searching Slug work logs. No work log found. Creating conjecture. Slug has likely not fixed this issue due to a lack of responsibility on the part of their employees. Is this normal? Most corporations have regular cleaning procedures to prevent damage to company property. Slug, already unlike most corporations in a variety of ways, does not. That or the employees tasked with inspecting are shirking their duties. For shame. Should I really turn on now? I'm not turning on no sto stove. No way. I am not turning anything on. Yes? Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. Oh, don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. I'm not here for the food, but I wish I was. Actually, what am I saying? I can't do that. I'm booked for the next month. You'll have to make a reservation. 
Why are you talking about food? Don't you care about the crime that just occurred? Crime or no crime, I must keep my head on my work. One does not simply become the head chef in all of Eridanos by fretting over irrelevant happenings. Irrelevant happenings. Shut your bitch ass up. I'm here to investigate Halcyon and Helen's murder. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You're you're the inspector? Yes. Here? Yeah. Why? Why, why, I, why, I mean, why? You may ask me whatever you want. I have nothing to hide. Hmm, we'll see. Did you prepare all of Helen's meals? Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Helen's last meal was poisoned. Oh. Oh my law, this is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous, but I didn't heed her warnings. Okay, okay, I wasn't the one who did it, but I might have been mistaken when I said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. Huh. Alibi is a little thin here. Why should I believe anything that you're saying? I understand your reluctance, but... Oh. Oh, I just remembered. The kitchen security camera. It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything. Constable Keen has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. Why were you being so evasive about leaving Helen's food unattended? Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? Because some Halcyon food combinations turn to acid when unsupervised. What? Truly? That's an alarming business oversight. Instead of volatile chemicals, the corporations should put barbiturates in everything. Everyone likes barbiturates. But I don't believe that was a risk with Helen's meal. I was, uh, up to something else. I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking. May? And consequently, drinking. I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing Helen's meal. So you were drunk on the job. That was so... Huh. Any idea where I might be able to find Bellhop Owens? Yes, but not specifically. What does that mean? Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather... particular. Let's not talk about the incident with the Raptodon pheromone glands. It's always hard to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. What was Spencer Woolwich doing around the kitchen? Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals wanting. He seems to enjoy complaining in person. While I could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once, I believe that Mr. Woolrich simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. Though, don't tell him I said as much. If you wish to speak with him, Mr. Woolrich can most likely be found in his suite on the VIP guest floor. He's usually there if he's not poking around here. That's all I wanted to ask about. Guess we'll see if you're telling the truth. Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long. Yes. Let's see. So, it seems like the gates to the constabulary are blocked, so I'm going to talk to someone here. Or maybe I'm able to open up this door. Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access, and... Nice. Welcome to the Piraeus Spaceport. Beautiful! Yay! And this is a very long bridge. Like, I feel like this bridge is a type of bridge where no matter how fast you're running, it never ends. And we're a little halfway over. Like, this is a long-ass walk. 
I feel sorry for the guards who have to clean this up during winter time when it snows. I mean, does it even snow in Eridanos? I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're like pretty close. Eyeing us, Captain. What are you talking about? Who? Who's eyeing us? Hey, oh, shit. You. We've been looking for you. Uh -huh. And by we, I mean slug. Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? Yeah. See, slug light underground don't like that much. He's trying so hard. It's actually kind of sad. Should have <laughs> kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. Slug sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! Huh, that is so cute. Okay, so this is a for song. You want to say that again, pal? Think about it. Slug asked me to investigate, and now it wants me dead? Uh, quick, everyone! Get him! Oh, hey, fuck off. Get him, Lyoka! Damn. See? Teamwork is the dream work here. I love it. Wait, there's still more? A hit note? A crumped note bearing me even handwriting. It's signed the marketeer. Good job for anyone with a ready gun hand and empty pockets. There's an inspector looking into the murder of Halsey and Helen. My client wants you to cross them off. Don't worry about subsidy. In fact, don't be subdial. Just make sure that once you agree to the job, you visit the rearmost by a bunk. Put on the uniforms you'll find folded beneath the mattress, and after that, feel free to cause a ruckus. Be sure to let them know slug territory is off limits. The reward's 40,000 bits plus all the enhancing chemicals you could ever want? The marketeer? <laughs> Disgusting how the marketeer wants me dead. It's obvious that the marketeer is. Pretty suspicious. Huh. Um, uh, what's this? Greetings, non criminally associated individual. Hello? The Rizzo's constabulary is currently not closed due to a spread infestation. Bureaucratic processes are currently suspended. At present, criminal reports do not require paperwork. Please lament only in marked lamentation zones. Please speak clearly into this unit's recording instruments. I need you... I need to acquire the Grand Colonial Kitchen security footage from your archive. All requests for security footage require a nominal compulsory bribe. Is that acceptable? Hold still, I need to examine your bit processing unit real quick. Error. Bit processing unit has been removed. Temporarily surpassing bit fee request. Funds will be requested from Rizzo's leadership with interest at a later date. Delivering footage. Thank you for your patronage. If you would like a wine recommendation to pair with that footage, please submit the requisite request forms. Is there any other assistance this unit may Provide. Um, your destination is Deputy Wine Taster. What are you doing in the constable? Error. 
Unit designation no longer wine paster. Unit designation now deputy. Hmm. Um, do your wine testing instruments double as weapons or something? Wild potential lethality of unit instrumentation bears towards 95% violent utilization of equipment would void unit warranty. All Rizzo's constabularies must include at least one deputy. Constable, among the pool of available Rizzo's employee candidates, this unit was considered the most competent. All right, then. How may this unit be of service to you? Did you say something about a sprat infestation? Checking logs. Error. Informational limitations found. Two. Reciting limitation one. Do not tell users about constabulary sprat infestation. We do not need to pay the health inspector's bribe a third time. Limitation two. Do not read informational limitations allow which that's what you're doing not to any of those void damned snot nosed guests wow or i'll have you sold for parts goodbye all right so i see we have the footage that's nice i'm gonna explore a bit here oh oh no no, 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 no. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. It's a good thing I came through here. An aberration in the expected timeline for this organic being has occurred. Behold, the body of Maria Keen, formerly the constable of the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. No signs of life detected. Maria Keen is survived by no known relatives. What killed her? Multiple puncture wounds detected along the frontal bone and between the clavicle. Furthermore, the location and circumference of exit wounds suggest a firearm with unconventional ammunition. I notice some castings in the ground. Immuni ammunition? These casings are too minuscule for conventional small caliber firearms. Each casing resembles a lancing needle used for medical and surgical purposes. Medical purposes, amplifier, scan her blood for toxins. High concentration of potassium chloride detected. Trace amounts of neurotoxin detected. Potassium chloride, that would have stopped her heart. These substances show the highest concentration near the entry and exit wounds. Cardiac arrest rather than physical trauma is the most likely cause of death. Amplifier, make a note. Find whoever did this and make them pay. Your memo has been noted. This unit has been programmed to offer encouragement during moments of emotional strain. Better protocol activated. We'll find the spread bastards responsible, Inspector. Huh. That is cute indeed. And that said how we found another dead body, like... I'll take that. And what's this? Oop, I guess I'm stealing. And what's that? Ammo? Hell yeah, I'm gonna steal some ammo. And I'm gonna steal that too. Because I'm gonna sell it later, so. I mean, she's dead. Stop it. Like, she's dead. What do you want me to do, right? She ain't gonna use any of this. I need this. I could probably sell it and get more money. Uh, this aggressively sold off shotgun is the signature weapon of Singularity Steel. Renowned space pirate, gun hand, and gardener. What? A pirate, gun hand, and gardener? That's very interesting. This weapon, just as board disapproved as its wielder's serial, is thankfully just a prop. 
Otherwise, attempting to fire it would have a 50-50 chance of reaming an entire room of box shot or exploding in the user's hand. Okay, so that gun is definitely not good. Mortar steel? Hell yeah. Wait. Huh. Ooh, let me see about the logs. A uh, suspicion of smuggling is fa fate accompli to any arrest report involving Cassidy Mills. Cassidy has made attempted smuggling a hobby and with a few more years of unsupervised practice would likely elevate attempted smuggling into an art firm. The key term here is attempted. I'm not at all confident in Cassidy's ability to successfully smuggle anything. She's clumsy in the extreme, obvious to a fault, and couldn't hide sand in a desert. Wow, talking so much shit. That's funny. Suspicion of smuggling nonetheless constitutes dissident, irresponsible, or otherwise untoward behavior contrary to the high standards of Wizards Company law. Because Cassidy Mills falls under the purview of Sublight Underground, I expect Mr. Kincanning to pay her internment fees within 36 hours, as usual. Slug bureaucrats have begun... Wait, hold on. Mr. Oza was found semi-conscious earlier yesterday morning, laying amongst the remains of a crate of Rizzle's confectionery's material value, 15 bits, market loss, approximately 1,500 bits. When approached by guards, Osa began to rave and yell, uttering phrases such as, Rizzle's has slugs, slugs, they'll kill us all. Mr. Osa was apprehended and brought to the constable's office. Slug beer cats have begun work on the defamation papers, which in Tatum, with the price of the goods Mr. Osa destroyed, will likely force him into hard labor for the rest of his life. At least he won't be stoking any trouble between us and Rizzles anymore. So basically, they hushed him for good because of the fact that he was basically telling everyone about the slugs. Which, by the way, that's pretty suspicious how the slugs are literally changing people. Okay, so six arrests of Lamb this month. He's getting close to his record. Uh, let me just hack here, see if there's any messages. Ooh. Um. Constable, I know you don't need to hear this, but please be on your guard. Pyrus Spaceport is technically outside my jurisdiction, which means you're the only representative of company law in slug territory. This is more than I can reasonably expect from you, but I appreciate it if you kept an eye on Cedric Kincannon. He's looking for any opportunity to seize control of the entire complex from me, and you're keeping him in check. You are the first, last, and only line of defense between slugs, lawless, hooligans, and our project. I know you have dreams of something bigger than Eridano's. If this project launch is successful, if Spectrum Brown spreads to the rest of the colony, I promise you I'll find you a place where you can be happy for the rest of your life. You're a valuable part of Rizzo's family, and I will look after you. Quentin. Wait, let me see this. Ooh, I recovered something. Um, let me see. I guess there's nothing else. Oh well. So we got the footage. What's this? Greetings, criminals. This unit would implore you to confess to your crime of landing with an expired permit. Please explicate your defense into this unit's recording equipment. My permit wasn't expired, Scrappy. Hey, take it easy you with probably that just scanned it wrong. Error. Unit's permit reading equipment was updated only last week. 
Please tell a different lie. Tell a different... You're a mechanical. You ain't got the foggiest idea whether I'm telling the truth or not. Correct. Criminal. However, Constable Keen has decreed that this unit will remain here, questioning you every minute until you submit... Damn! Questioning every minute until he speaks? Information on recent exchange lost. Restarting conversation. Greetings, criminal. Oh, that's this insane. I would have lost my mind. To confess to your crime of landing with an expired permit. You know what? My permit was fake after all. Uh, let me out of here. If I made a bet with you at the Copper Bottom last night, let's call it off now. I can't stand the taste of life's brats. Excuse me, can you walk a little quieter? Feels like my brain is trying to escape through my eye sockets. Bro. I think I may have hit the bottle a little too hard last night. Now it's hitting me back. All right, well, what about this one right here? If you ain't a constable, then we ain't got nothing to discuss. If I made a bet with you at the copper bar. All right, well, I'm leaving. Goodbye. I'm heading out. What? What you got to say? Nothing, right? Welcome back. Hopefully, law-abiding individual. Engaging guilt-tripping subroutines. You haven't committed any crimes lately. Have you? Please speak clearly into this unit's recording instruments. Constable Keen is dead. Understood. This unit requires a moment to process this information. Information processed. Personal designation upgraded to acting constable. Thank you, law-abiding consumer. Um... Keen was the killer's latest victim. They could strike again. This unit concurs with your inference. Unapprehended killers are likely to continue killing. You don't understand. I'm asking for your help catching the killer. Error. This unit is incapable of Inspection. Oh, come Deduction. on. Corny. You suck, bro. Aggressive. Pursuit. Wow, so I have to do everything by myself. What exactly are you capable of? This unit has been programmed to recommend a wine to pair with your grief. Wow. Wash away your sorrows with a glass of highly concentrated Partially fermented purple berry, purple berry wine has a body richer than Byzantium's elite with an earthy aftertaste redolent of mostly oak. Purple berry wine coming soon from Rizzo's. Wow. So he's not even a deputy at all. He's just there as a mascot just to show. I gotta talk to Owens at this point. I, I just can't. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>